All right, ready. Yeah, sometimes you can start right next to the other ships, and that's uh, no, that's a real problem. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. like little things like that like I can you know a little bit of practice I should be able to uh, play a little better like that one I could kind of see in advance a little bit this this is where things get more interesting okay good it's also a little bit faster to kill the enemies that way it seems then just always making sure you have an escape room, like I said. run so far. There we go. Again, I just came up with some arbitrary splits for starters and figuring, uh, there we go. Sometimes just a little down up like that is enough to get your ship, uh, kind of centered correctly, and there we go. And these, these black ships are, are definitely dumb. There we go. Nice. The diagonal, it, it, it's always three squares, so it actually doesn't matter how far away you are. Um, you know, it, 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 it doesn't exactly, you know, uh, understand the Pythagorean theorem very well, so. Now, that was a great level. Very, very happy with that one. Nice. Wow. Cleared out that level in a hurry. This is actually very good. Um, okay, I think this will work. This. Nice. This is probably the best one yet. Wow, and I even got rid of that super difficult ship, too. Very nice. Guys, I'm actually getting the hang of this. We might make it to 30, my god. Yeah, sometimes you get to the point where you kind of, you're chasing them a little bit, and that stinks. Several extra lives at this point. Um, yeah, I, I screwed that up. I should have just been more patient. Uh, Alright, where's the biggest threat? Yeah. And I, I don't don't know for sure if it was possible to, uh, uh, to beat that wave without taking death. Uh -oh. 
away from me. Nice. Oh, that worked out. Probably actually start using some of these extra lives, too. Wow. point here where uh I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, so this thing isn't even on speedrun.com, so that's why I said real world premiere. Um, again, I just wanted to try this for fun, but as you can see, there's actually a ton of strategy with this. There you go. Sub 6.30. I had no idea what would be a good time. I just kind of just kind of threw this thing together, um, and, and there we go, you know? So yeah, hope you enjoyed the uh, the world premiere of uh, Seven Seas Deluxe. Again, this was uh, this was PopCap before it was PopCap, or I mean, it was PopCap, but this game was probably made in 2003. Um, you know, released as kind of a you know one-off and flash kind of game. Uh, I don't even know the the, the full story behind it, but um, yeah. Yeah, so Mad Wasp, I, I can probably help you. Uh, I, I can help you locate it. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put it that way. It's very difficult because it's not really like on Steam anymore. And I tried to download it directly from PopCap's website, and that didn't work. So, you know, I kind of had to had to get a little creative. But again, like what makes this game great is it's fast, it's fun, it's strategic. Um, you know, there's a little bit of RNG, but a lot of skill. You know, you have to make some fast decisions. Um, and I'll just sort of demo uh, the, the medium and the hard versions just to just to kind of give you some perspective on, you know, how much more difficult it gets. You know, basically the idea is it's more ships uh, and they don't give you like the nice little arrows about where all the ships are going. You have to know, okay, if I go here, you know, this is going here and this is going here. It is a pop cap game. So that's why I, uh, uh, that's why I thought it would be appropriate to run this on this channel, kind of uh, in the spirit of, uh, uh, you know, Plants vs. Zombies and things like that and some of my uh, you know some of my expertise and things like that um, uh, there you go so yeah again it's, it's a pop cap game uh, it's, it's good fun I don't actually know how long it goes that's why I picked 30 as, as a good endpoint it might be possible to get to like 50 or something like that like 10 felt just a little too arbitrary or something like that um, but um, you know like like just a little too short and like not you know, you don't get a chance to, like, demo all of the different types of ships and all that. I think, I remember back in 2003 when I played this for the first time, like, I probably got to to wave, like, 50 or something like that. Um, I don't necessarily think there's an end, maybe, like, wave 50 or 100 or something like that, but, um, you know, that's, uh, that's it. And it's very hard to find, like, a lot of information about the game, too, so... Uh, yeah, so there we go. So just as a quick uh, demonstration, I'll, I'll give you a quick demo of uh, uh, the hard version, uh, just just so you can kind of see the uh, uh, see the perspective. So, all right. So we'll end this. We'll go to hard. Uh, again, I'm not. This this won't be a speed run or anything like that. It'll just. Uh, um, so again, you can see when I move here, it does not tell you where the other uh, ships are gonna go. So again, you gotta be, you gotta be a little, you know, then, then this will be fine. Oh, interesting. And the world, I forgot about this. The world pools appear and disappear. So you can't necessarily bank on them like you saw me doing. Um, 
you know, for, uh, uh for, for, for too long at all. Interesting. Yeah, already, you know, you can tell these levels are, like, more difficult. Oh, Jesus. And again, you only have a couple lives to work with, so, uh, you know, you really better, better make, uh, yeah, jeez, yeah, you see, I can't even, uh, I'm really not doing a great job here. Oh man, I think I got myself again, yeah. So you see, the hard version is, like, way harder. Oh, this, this has insane speedrunning potential. It really is, like, um... You know, it really is like um, PVZ in the sense of like, you know, it's a pretty simple puzzle game to learn, but like, the skill cap feels nearly unlimited. You know, every single decision you make, like, either by, you know, really can affect the run by at least a second or two, you know, using death strategically, using the diagonal strategically, you know, a little bit of RNG, of course, but, um, uh, you know, like, not blasting when you don't have to, because there's, there's a time that elapses between, you know, the, uh, you know, like, how long it takes the cannonballs versus to move, uh, you know, obviously having good reaction time and things like that. Um, 